if you are a fresher if you are a domain change person if you are into non it then this video is for you because this video is based on the true incidents that my close friends have done and what are the steps that company has taken after they have been caught in the bgv and how they have actually got the certificates to fulfill their experience as an it engineer i'll be discussing everything in detail in this video so stay tuned till the video end and make sure that you are sharing this video as much as possible in your friends groups in your college groups in order to make sure you save your friend in getting to such kind of malpractice activity now if you see the entire internet is filled with those kind of questions i am trying to help to everyone those who are thinking to put fake experience or those who have put the fake experience how they can come out from that particular instance so let's get started guys so first of all let me tell you freshers are very much gullible to keep the fake experience because once they are college pass out like 2016 17 let's consider in my case my friends have kept the fake experience because by the year 2018 they are in a dilemma like i will crack good government job i will crack upsc i will crack a big and iit nit and even in 2019 20 after 4 years of their journey they didn't got any job so what they have done is now people are trying to catch them now what they have done is they have simply started going to the coaching centers now these coaching centers are trapping these kind of candidates who are having 4 years of gap 5 years of career gap 3 years of career gap 2 years of career gap and looting lot of money now what has happened is my three of my friends who have moved to hyderabad have came into such kind of institute where they have supplied them the fake experience certificate they made sure that their bgv is going to clear they they also claim that yes boss your bgv will get clear if you use our company details now what they will do is they will set up a fake private limited company and from there they will issue the certificates as in terms of from 2016 to 2019 let's say he or she has worked in a particular company and you know what nowadays pf is also given by those companies in such kind of cases now according to the company main bgv if you are jumping into the actual company let's say tcs infosys this bgv patterns play an important role along with your pf how they are getting clear is because that's a private limited company that company issues you the service letter experience letter joining letter and the last 3 months pay slip along with the hr details now here one catch is if you are going into such malpractice action two things here one is you are going to lose your money because they will be charging lakhs and lakhs of rupees from your pocket even though let's assume that you have given 2 lakhs 3 lakhs amount to those kind of companies you have got the certificates and finally they they escape from the from the game that okay uh, your bgv will be after 2 3 months by that time if they are there or not you are not sure but you are paying for the certificates which you are taking from them right now so it's a complete scam guys so make sure that you are not falling into that trap my own friends have paid 2 to 3 lakhs of rupees to a x company where they have got into this trap now what has happened is that they have got all the details from that particular company right and they started searching out for job now once they have kept in their resume that xyz company and people see here very clearly listen here the client name they are keeping as let's say like toyota let's say like walmart let's say like amazon because whenever some resume is seen people judge that okay this guy is working in a amazon company this guy is working in a walmart company but actually they will be working as a third party payroll because they have never worked they have never worked right so if they keep the xyz company which has given them the fake offer letters people will not call so what they do is they tell like i am working in a company called amazon i am working in a company called walmart and uh, this is how my experience is 3 uh, years and i have done two to three projects in this company now until and unless the hr asks them have you really worked in this company is it your direct payroll then they will say like 
okay this is not my direct payroll my that direct payroll is some other company now because hr has already selected his resume she will she or he will think like okay let's go ahead what's wrong in that and they will go ahead with all the things here a note to hr also make sure that you are searching all the details in the in the website of that company whether it is genuine or not then proceed with uh, the further rounds right now once the further rounds are done uh, usually what happens this people right who have uh, put the fake experience what they do is uh, they actually sit in front of laptop and uh, uh, you just you your face will be visible to them and the opposite person will be talking with the interviewer actually so you need, just need to give the lip thing now here also the people are giving 60000 70000 to those kind of people and making the interview possible now i would request everyone don't go that kind of malpractice because if you are got caught uh, it's just a waste of time for both of them but it's going to hamper your career in the long run right so let's say like you have cleared all the 3 4 rounds uh, like this like making sure the other person is giving the interview in front of you and you are do doing just the lip sync right uh, that that means that you are a 3 years experience suppose you are going to select in a company what is going to happen first your bgv should be cleared second you should be aware of all the project tech stack which you are going to attend and give in the interview very very much important if you are not able to get on to the project on to the pace that company is looking from you then it means that you are into a trouble also you for a 3 years of experience you will keep let's say like 5 lps 6 lp of the salary fake salary so the people from the other company will give you let's say 10 lpa so for that 10 lpa you need to do the justice suppose you have crossed all the things let's say like your your bgv is cleared your pf portal has been verified your interview has been completed all those things happened you sit in the company you have to give the results to the company now here also what people do is people give 30000 40000 for the support role and people hire some people from other other areas like freelancing websites like fiverr and all and they say like i'll pay you 40000 you please give me the support for one month that's how my friend have done like 3 to 4 lakhs into this kind of category and the ultimate results are shocking guys even though they have achieved their job their bgv was cleared right in time of corona at that point of time pf portal check was not that stringent but for your information in 2024 and in 2025 pf portal checks are very very much important and to be very honest they have cleared all the bgv and all and even though they have taken the support out of the three people two people have failed to pass the probation period because they were not able to solve the task they were not able to compete with all the activities that they were supposed to do with respect to a 3 years experience candidate 2016 to 2019 and company has eventually found them out and they have terminated them uh, the without the complete uh, uh, means what you can say like permanent position they have terminated them in the onboarding uh, probation period time itself now one person who has left in the company is really i would say like uh, is fortunate enough to go through all the process still he is working in the same company for your information he was literally doing the night outs guys to make sure that he is doing all the work that has been given see luck not favors all of them right so i would suggest don't go into such kind of activities always try to believe in skills rather than securing these kind of activities and uh, and getting caught is very very bad it will really hamper in terms of your pf portal they will they can put a stringent stringent rule in terms of your uh, in terms of your government some portals they have some rules and even they can blacklist you from apl uh, you applying to any other companies also so i think that government is still working on these kind of activities where they are trying to reduce this ransomware malpractice activity and i would suggest if you have seen this video till the end share this video to your friends never do these kind of activities always make sure you are working hard towards your goal if you need to upskill in a genuine way batch 10 is going to start in next one week you can check all the details in the description and make sure that if you are looking to upskill in devops and sari you are enrolling in this batch 10 it's very less cost not lakhs not thousands just a minimum fees i have kept to make sure that you get onboarded you learn you apply those learnings into the resume and you give the interviews very confidently instead of going into the wrong ways which i have told till now so make sure that you are 
looking out for genuine roles and always try to apply more jobs with respect to your uh, projects. If you want to become a freelancer, there is also opportunities. You can check Fiverr or other kinds of websites. If you feel that Praveen, I am a three years gap, but still I'm not able to cope up with the, uh, with the job, then start freelancing, apply those learnings into the freelancing opportunity, or you can start making content as I do, or you can start posting on LinkedIn. If you see uh, even um, in my LinkedIn also, uh, one company I would have not mentioned uh, till uh, date. So uh, I, I have worked for Cognizant for two weeks. I didn't abscond it from that company. I put down pro proper papers and I came out from that company. So you will see, you will not see Cognizant anywhere uh, in my, uh, in my uh, experience list. So hope that again i was fortunate kr I, I put down papers properly and i took the exit so many of the people also do like the abscond from the company so never do the abscond because it will hamper your career epfo is the portal where your all details will be captured okay so make sure that you are not doing those kind of things if you have done abscond from a company that also means that you have formed a malpractice uh task and what happens right Suppose you are working in an X company, you join Y company, you absconded the Y company and you are looking to join Z company. So what happens is the Z company, when it ex extracts your PF details from the X company, then the X company and the Z company will be talking with each other and the middle company, which has already put your data in the EPFA portal will be always in the minus state. So in order to put it back in the plus state, you have to again send the emails, you have to get the relieving letter, you have to put the exit date in the EPFA portal, which will be very risky task and generally companies won't do because you have betrayed the company, so company will take the revenge in that way. Okay, so make sure that you are not absconding, make sure that you are not malpracticing, make sure that you are not keeping the fake experience. This video is only to enlighten you that don't do such kind of malpractices. I hope you have liked this video. If you are facing any kind of issues, make sure you comment down so that I can give some suggestions uh, and uh, help you out from this kind of troubles. So this is Praveen signing off from this video. If you have liked this video, like, share and subscribe um, and uh, uh, do watch other playlists also in our channel. And uh, this is Praveen signing off from this video. Meet you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.